Hello everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, we're going to be discussing about parallel algorithms, a basic conceptual framework uh, for concurrent programming. Let's discuss the uh, memory uh, architectures, uh, memory configurations. So broadly, we can classify uh, memories in, in two uh, structures, shared memory and distributed memory. As you can see here in the shared memory, each processing element shares the same memory. And in distributed memory configuration, each processing element has its own private memory. So this is a broadly, uh, we can classify it. Now, when you have uh, only one single processor and uh, you want to make, uh, you want to write a concurrent program which can run on single processor. So modern computing systems or modern uh, operating systems, they provide uh, facility and how it is being done is that uh, there is a concept called threads. So thread is nothing but a, uh, a smallest unit of execution uh, which can be run, uh, which can be executed uh, independently and controlled via scheduler typically part of operating system. And nevertheless, uh, threads, you may think of uh, threads as uh, a vehicle okay, to compute uh, or to process some instructions. And it's equivalent to as if uh, it is a processing element. Okay? So on a single processor, the operating system will provide the facility to have multiple threads or mul vehicles for computing the uh, instructions. And these threads then can be executed concurrently on a single processor via multitasking or time sharing manner. Okay. So as a, as a programmer, uh, that is, uh, that detail is uh, hidden to you how the threads are being uh, computed, but at the at the top level, you are just uh, basically giving the jobs or the part of the program which can be executed concurrently to different threads. So your master threads, master thread controls the overall execution, and when it sees that okay, now I have to fork. Okay. Uh, I have to fork or create more children's which can carry out the computation in parallel. It, so those, uh, those parallel uh, computations are being carried out by uh, individual threads or child threads which are being forked out of master thread. And when these are finished, then master thread waits for all children to finish and then join the result and give you the final output. So you can get a significant speed up over the sequential program or sequential algorithm um, via parallel algorithms. Let's take an example of a Fibonacci sequence. So as we know that uh, the Fibonacci sequence, it's a very popular sequence, that the uh, next number in this sequence is the sum of previous two numbers. So let's say two is the sum of zero and one, three is the sum of one and two, five is the sum of two and three, eight is the sum of five and three, and so on. So you can complete the whole sequence. And mathematically, we can represent it via the formula that f0 is zero, f1 is one, and fi, which is the next number in the sequence, is the summation of previous two numbers. And if you want to write a sequential program uh, to generate a Fibonacci sequence, we can simply make use of recursion and can write a program in this manner. Okay. 
So at line number four, we are just simply uh, making use of recursion to calculate the first previous number, what is there, like say three, okay? And on line number five, we are then making recursion again to calculate the number, say let's say two and return x plus y that is 5 or we are joining these two results x plus y all right now if we want to convert uh, this sequential program into a parallel program or make use of threads how we can do that very simple that see now here the x fib n minus 1 can be executed independently then fib n minus 2. So we fork, okay. We fork or create the child threads and give the job of computing uh, fib n minus 1. Uh, there might be different uh, uh, instances of it, say, depending upon how big is the n, to different uh, child threads. And then we wait at line number six to join okay to wait to complete all the child threads and at line number seven we join the result we can uh, visualize uh, the computation in a form of uh, computational directed acyclic graph in this form where uh, the the circles whether it is black gray or white they represent uh, some set of instructions okay you may call it a strand or just simply a set of instructions which can be executed okay now the solid black color circle says that this is a base uh, this is a base case or the case where uh, at line number four where we are forking okay so a span or fork is the same thing uh, where we are let me write it creating the uh, child threads okay and then gray means that uh, we are at the case where uh, it's a regular execution we are not uh, forking it it's a 5 pn minus 2 and then at line number 6 we are syncing it or nothing but we are waiting to join the results of all um, forked forked uh, threads okay so as as you can see the, that uh, the fib4 okay is nothing but uh, the summation of 3 and 2 and then then further important thing here is is to understand that um, wherever there is a connection direct connection or a direct edge from node okay between nodes it means that uh, these are sequential so let's say this and this so these two strands are sequential because there is a dependency however see black and white there is no direct dependency so these these are parallel so this this is a basic discussion on two parallel algorithms um, the more detail you can read from your textbook about uh, computational uh, DAG. But important here from a programming perspective is that uh, the fork or join thing. So if you think that uh, uh, the part of the program can be computed sequentially, so simply you fork and fork means they generate the computational vehicles or threads and give the uh, responsibility of executing that uh, part of the program in parallel to those threads. So you just fork it and then wait for the uh, till all the uh, threads are complete and then in the end 
produce the result. Thank you very much guys for listening and uh, liking Lee Professor at, on YouTube. Have a wonderful day.